This installation movie is an example of one of many systems. Installation can vary according to vehicle or ladder. More specific instructions can be obtained through info at primedesigneurope.eu. Make sure to check if all the items are included using the checklist in the assembly instructions. Apply the supplied lubricant on the black plastic bushing. Insert the large black plastic bushing through the crossbar. Line up the bushing key to the crossbar key cut. Insert the white plastic bushing through the drive arm. Line up with the bolt hole. Insert the drive shaft rear through the large bushing and drive arm bushing. Fit the bolts, smeared with an anti-seize compound, Adjusting the cylinder's flow control screw by one and a half turns left to default setting will release the cylinder rod, making it easier to pull the rod towards the drive shaft cylinder lever during installation. The screw must be pointed at the outside. The rear side of the rack is now completed. Repeat the insert of the bushings the same way as on the rear. Insert the drive shaft rear through the large bushing and drive arm bushing. Choose the right holes to align the bar according to the requested length. Seal the remaining holes with the decals. Apply silicone cork to the joints on both connecting bars. Again, this is a specific example. Mounting will vary according to the vehicle used. Use existing tie-in points of the vehicle. Measure on both sides the necessary distance to operate the lever behind the rear door. Adjust the height of the auto clamp. Do not press down on the ladder, leave about 5 mm gap, otherwise the clamp may not release while opening. Push the hook against the ladder to compress the auto clamp spring and tighten the bolt at the bottom of the hook. Adjust the cylinder flow control screw to allow approximately 3 seconds time for the ladder to glide down when operating the loaded ladder rack.